Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to the Total Realism Project as we continue with Operation Barbarossa. So, I have done a little bit of reorganization with some units. Like, um, over here, the army is probably better off being served by a. Well, just combining the forces there, really. Um, I am going to send these uh, Panzer Grenadiers north here. The thing is, the Soviet strength really lies down here in the south, but they don't have too much over here in the north. So, if we could try to get to here, try to get to these objectives of Leningrad and Moscow. We could try. I don't know. I don't know if it would affect them in such a way that it would make a difference, but hey, I'd like to try. And I've also got to know, well, brought this SS army together. As frankly, we need all the help we can get now. Mountaineer would be pretty damn nice. Let's move them down there. Now, checking the terrain, we do have mountains here. I could probably do with just moving some of these panzers out of here. There's a lot of panzers and mechanized here that have been here for the entire time. And they're frankly wasted, but the thing is, I can't move too much. I need to replace them with infantry here, and then we'll find our way. Yeah. The issue is, especially in this province here, if I move too many men out of here, they're instantly going to attack, and it's going to go badly. So, we need... We need more garrison. We need to bring our transport capacity up there. But it's difficult. Very difficult. Oh, God damn it. I did play another mod, so everything's like kind of reset on like all those. All right, you can attack. You just support the attack. You stay there. There we go. Okay, we're going at a lower speed then for the time being, above normal. Okay, we are attacking here. And here as well. I'll support the attack over here. Let's see. They need to recover organization. They also need strength. That's a big thing, too. Um, so what we will do then is... Um, well... I need to stop producing everything. I can't afford everything. I think I'm going to let these new garrisons finish off, and then I'm going to put uh, my industrial capacity into upgrades. I need my men to be on top form. Okay... Now, we do have a considerable amount of men here. We have a good amount of men here in reserve, which I'll just form into a major army. Um, winter specialist could be quite handy. Red Field Marshal. Invading Yugoslavia is probably the worst decision I made. Okay. Iran. Is it Iran or Persia? Ah, Persia. Yeah, Persia is having difficulties. I could try to bring the Italians in here. Uh, the issue is they would be at war. Uh, what I could try to do here is, I suppose it's a little bit gamey, but the thing is we shouldn't have been at war with the Greeks anyway, is I could try to make peace with them. But the thing is, if I bring the Romanians in, I don't... Well, I believe it will bring the... Bulgarians and the Romanians too, and the thing is, I don't want them to 
be defeated. So we'll see. Well, no one's retired by a large force, so. Move them forward there, move them back. Okay. We need to push into places like this so I can move more troops elsewhere. That's the fundamentals here. Okay, they're almost ready for action. Bro, that's a serious amount of them. Hmm. I could do with delivering these men over here. Which I will then. I'll have them set to Riga. Okay. Uh, so the real huge problem here is the transport capacity network. It's just awful. Really, really bad. Yeah. Just awful. Okay. I mean, the amount of supplies I'm trying to send through here, it's just difficult. And then on top of that, we have to deal with... Um, oh, destroyers one. Cool. Right, so we'll uh, strategically redeploy you out of there. And there we go. Not worth it. Okay, move over here. The furtive U boat flutilla. Yeah. I'd gain a good couple of troops from Finland, but the thing is, I do need the Finns in here. Uh, so I need cash. That's the thing I need. Right, look at our trades here. I need more rares. Bulgaria. I wish you could sort by the amount. That'd be nice. Yep, Australia has a hell of a lot of them. Bolivia, quite a large amount. How about the Vichy regime? That's who I want to be dealing with. No, they don't have any. Damn. Turkey. Actually, a good amount. Hmm, we'd only get 52% of that, though. Uh, Sweden. Good amount. I'd get 100%. Okay. I could do with more metal. There we go. Yeah, we are running a deficit due to the fact that I am feeding the French industries. Uh, so I think I may cancel that with uh, my France, as I'm going to need all these rares. Uh, I mean, I'm giving them 30, so I'm still suffering a shortfall here. That's an issue. Hmm. So what do I, what do I want to do? 
that the Italians have some to offer. So that's brilliant. Ah, oh, right, yes. Hmm. Uh, perhaps I do want to buy some supplies. Unless they just don't like me anymore, which seems likely. Hmm. There we go. Came some from Greece. So now we're on a suffering deficit of 14.7, uh, which I could make up by cancelling some of the imports to France, sorry, the exports to France. Um, I could potentially try to trade with the Finns, actually. Uh, 1.3. Hmm. How about Spain? You have plenty to offer, actually. Huge amounts, actually. There we go. Ah. It is difficult, it is really difficult. In Bart. Right, reserves. See, there's a lot of issues here. And down here as well. I have this. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn off production. I'm gonna get some upgrades out there. Oh. That's interesting. Shouldn't be off like that. Oh, 
that could help to explain some things. Right, that's much, much better now. It's not helping too much, but it is helping. Right, we've held the... Hmm. Aha. Actually... Right, now hopefully with these upgrades we can start to get some decent numbers out. Well, decent! Just things decent. Right, Montenegro. Bloody partisans, though. Oh yes, the cash. Okay, I need this frontline supply. I don't care if it's ahead of time, I need it. That TC modifier, that would have been incredible right now. Okay, they're the best there. Right. So if we can attack them now, and try to destroy these divisions here. Here to Talonin. I can get the ships over here to bombard this province as well. Right, we are under attack over here then. Uh, which is hardly surprising. But if we can make it difficult for them, that'll be good. Yeah. Transport capacity is the thing killing us right now. Really, really is. If I can get that bonus along with the bombardment, that should make a difference. Okay, just hold on for a little while then. Okay, get the bonus. Ah. Hmm. Right, well, hold on. God damn it. It's the bloody organization. I think the TC modifier is a little bit insane right now. And there's really not much I can do about it. It's really difficult. Yeah, occupied. Partisan activity. It's really, really difficult.
I need to destroy those units. Right, there'll be some marines. Okay, they stopped. Ooh. Right. You guys stay here. See, the infrastructure needs to be repaired. Let's take a look here. I don't know what the intelligence is going to be like. Right, so it's saying 244, but I hardly believe that because it says a lot of things and it never really tells me the same thing. Right, so they only have 63k oil left, which is incredibly interesting. Uh, 267k energy, 91k metal. Uh, 2,673 manpower. So they do definitely beat me in manpower. That's for sure. Hmm. Yeah, of course we're going to lose that battle there. But for now, that's 10 divisions removed from play. I could push here, which I think I shall. I had the transport capacity. It is getting slightly better. Hmm. German recruits in Estonia. A new cavalry division. Honestly, I'm not going to say no to the gift horse. Okay, so that would leave me with 15 divisions there. I'll take 6 armoured. The French are really helping. I Got to say that one. Right, Japan has declared war upon the USA. So that means they're going to join the Allies. That means we're going to be at war with the Americans. Yeah. We're at war with the Americans. I could say. Oh, it doesn't make too much of a difference other than their gigantic navy. Okay. The transport capacity is getting better. I wonder if it has something to do with upgrades. I've no idea. Let's get in there. Ah. Right, a few new cavalry divisions. That's really quite handy. Right, let's see.
need to reduce this partisan activity as much as possible. It is going down partisan activity. Okay, let's move my planes up. Yeah, I need that transport capacity. It's getting there. It's getting there. But I need it. I need it all. Right, these panzers are free. Uh, so I'll set them to anti-partisan. Yeah, I, I think it helps in the surrounding provinces, which is why I like it. At least I believe so. Like, we can attack them, it's just we've got a really, really big wear. And this infrastructure is horrific. So capturing another port would be greatly, well, great, yeah, greatly useful. Okay, let's get to Narva. Heck. Ah, oh, French. Oh no, it's planes, okay. Hmm. Right. How many divisions do they have? So they have uh, 23 divisions on 2 HQ, so it's actually quite a lot. <clears throat> I have no idea where the Hungarian troops are. I need more from Vichy. I need more. Right, there we go. Okay, now we're gaining res again. Uh, so we're actually gaining resources, which is fantastic. Which is what we need to do. Right. Did we actually crush the enemy there? Hmm. Well, let's retake the port then, shall we? Right, the anti uh, the anti part with Denmark. Well, it's a bit late now, isn't it? So we will sign the pact. Get a little bit of cash. Never a bad thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you 